Republican candidate for governor yeah. for 2024. Why, what gave you the harebrained idea to even <laughs> jump into an endeavor like this? Right, The laws, the bills that kept coming through legislature and observing politicians over the last decades, you know, we continue to, cor- to elect these establishment types, the mm-hmm. political aristocracy, career politicians, people who have been blessed off by the wealthy or the elitist, right, of the Republican tribe. Right. Um, and so what about career Americans, people who have stumbled, fell, got up, pulled themselves up from their bootstraps, you know, struggled every day to put food on the table, maybe serve their country, right, or mm-hmm. has a resume of acknowledged skills and abilities to, to bring value to the position. And so... That's why I I said, no, I'm gonna run because I need to stand up because our state is going over the cliff, number one, and continue to do so. The next thing was, well, who's gonna stand up and advocate for me as a citizen? Right. Right, are we gonna have more of the same, more of the establishment career politicians? You know, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give it right back to you, but I have to share this. When I started inquiring and doing the research, right, due diligence before asking my wife permission, mm-hmm. naturally, my chain, <laughs> right, my right, chain right. of command, um, I talked to someone who I knew was involved in politics, and she said, oh, no, we have a great candidate that's going to be running for governor. You should run for, like, lieutenant governor or office of superintendent of public instruction or something like that. And her validating statement was, he's rich and he can finance his own campaign. Great. That was it. Where do I sign? Right? <laughs> right? And it's like, oh, I feel great. Um, yeah. Here's a career American that will represent me because everybody's rich. Right. Right? And that is the catalyst or that is the the resume you're looking for. Yeah. And so that, that's when I was- Rich I was can be that. good, but what else is oh, oh, what no. else is associated hey, with that? Right? I'm, yeah. I'm a capitalist yeah. myself, right? You know, started with nothing, worked up to mm-hmm. have. Um, but no, I mean, we, we need servant leaders. We need people who are not in it for themselves, but are in it for the right reasons to uphold, protect the Constitution and our our civil rights, Mm -hmm. right? Our our civil liberties and our constitutional rights. That's why a public servant, oh, how's that? A public servant. Yeah, weird, right? Weird term. I would almost say the better term, not politician. Right. But someone who serves the public. Well, I'm sorry, weird term because they're obviously public servants and they don't act like it. Oh, no, I got you. (laughs) Oh, no, yes. Well, that's it. And so, again, I gave you a very long tour of the reasons, but it's just I can't sit by uh, Dylan and see someone struggling and do nothing. I can't sit by and watch catastrophe and then take my phone out and record it, right? You know, I'm not that guy. I, I run to it. I didn't know that until combat, um, but as it turns out, no, that's just how I'm wired. And uh, I protect, I serve, uh, I love people, um, duty, honor, mm-hmm. integrity. These things mean something to me. 